Hey everybody, welcome back to the fields of Arla. Let's get back to those fields. Although I gotta apologize up front for any glare like this you're gonna see. It's getting kind of stormy out. It's actually so bad that Tula down here is terrified. You okay, too? She's just down here shivering because I don't know if you'll maybe hear some thunderclaps every once in a while, but it's starting to get a bit dark out in the middle of the day. So I had to turn the lights on. But anyway, let's keep going. So it's my next turn. And now, what was I good at? Oh, right. I'm good at fleshing beams and at shoveling stuff. So, you know, if I really want to take advantage of that, I'm going to need some more hides to make leather, which I could then convert into, you know, leather clothing and, and do various things with. So, I'm going to need more animals to get more hides. So, I think I'm going to start working on an animal kingdom here. Let's go to the colonists. I'll send Ma over here to the colonists, where, as you can see, I get one free horse. I'll take the horse and put it over here in my stall. And now, at the end of winter, which is the second round, at the end of the second round, these two will breed and make me a baby horse. And um, at some point in the future, those horses might make it over to the butcher to give me some food and also some hide so they can go to the town and so on. We'll see how that goes. And I also get to flip one of my more tiles. You can see these are negative four points. Now it's switched to negative one point. And I put four, um, what do you call them? Four peat. So I've just scored three points, and now I've got a whole bunch more peat moss access, which again, if I start clearing this stuff out, it'll get me more points, and it will allow me to heat my home in the winter, and you know, I need to use peat to burn to turn clay into bricks, and you use it for other things as well. All right, so that was my move, and now it's Jen's next move. And remember, she's got the special, she's got the weaving part, so she's good at turning flax into linen. But you know what? I mean, she, she turns three flax into one linen. As soon as she does that, she's out. So I think she wants to get some more flax fields to take advantage of that. So I think she will go into the farming business. All right. So now you can see on this space, it says one plow line and per plow one field. That line is an and or. So you get to do both of these things or one or the other, your choice. So first of all, Jen's going to build herself a plow. They come from over here. A plow costs one wood and either one cattle or one horse, your choice. So Jen's got to give up another wood now, and she either has to give up her horse or her cow because that animal will now full-time be associated with this thing so it can pull the plow and work the fields. I guess Jen will go ahead and give up the horse because remember the cow at the end of summer is gonna milk and get some, you know, be able to milk the cow and get some milk. Right, so anyway, so Jen paid the wood and the horse, and now she has a single plow and the other action, for every plow she's got, she can put a field out. So she's going to put out her second flax field. And now her space is full. Until she does a dike action of her own to open up some more space, she can't build anything. So she either has to do a dike action or she has to clear out one of these moors. Or clear out this peat right here to get that space. Because otherwise she's full. All right, so that was Jen's next action. And now this is my last action of summer. And so, you know, I've, I've been holding off on doing a winter action because if I do that, then I guarantee Jen is the first player in winter. And I'm thinking, oh, it'd be kind of nice to not give up. But, you know, Jen hasn't done it, so maybe I should do a winter action. And what would I want to do? Let's see. Well, that's interesting. If I want to really start, you know, um, you know working the, the butcher and then the tanner, the butcher, every, for every slaughtering table I have, I can, you know, slaughter another animal to get more hides. Um, but I only have two slaughter tables, so maybe I could come over here to winter, do the master action, and then improve more tools. I could improve my um, slaughtering tables and my fleshing beams some more, as an example, and, and get more points for having those, and I'll be in a better position to start slaughtering these animals. Although I don't have very many animals yet. You know, or I could come over here to the grocer, cut some peat, and get an animal, and a wood, and a clay. Or I could, let's see, if I want to get some more animals, what else would I do? Oh, you know what? Actually, if I'm going to be making, if I'm going to be growing a lot of, I could come over here to the cattle trader, get a sheep, and my choice, another horse or another cow. And if I get two cows, they could breed. But you know what? Animals won't breed unless they've got a nice enclosed stall or uh, if you, you can upgrade a stall into a stable. So maybe if I want to get a lot of animals and I got plenty of space for it, maybe I want to come over here. I won't do a winter action. Well, I could, yeah, because if I do another winter action, if I, if I yeah, what the heck, I'm going to do a winter action, um, which means Jen, as her final action, will not be able to do it, but that means she will be first this winter. I am going to go to the cattle trader. What do I get? I get two wheat, 
one, two, so now I got a whole bunch of wheat. And I get one sheep, which I will, I've got all this land I can put them in. And I get another cow or another horse. And I will go on ahead, oh, let's see. Now if I take another cow at the end of winter, if I get these two into a uh, stable, they will breed. But you know, I could do the same thing. I could, I could start breeding sheep instead of cows. The interesting thing is, if I get another cow, oh, gosh darn it. Oh. Where'd that cow go? Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, come here, you. Arr. Sorry, folks. No, I've got beagles. They will chew that cow up and spit it out. All right, so if I take another cow, not only will they be able to breed at the end of winter, but, no, it's actually one cow will milk and get one food. I need three cows to get two food. So another cow, a second cow won't get me more food, but a second sheep will. Because if I have two sheep, I can basically get some sheep cheese, and that'll be some food as well. So I'll take two sheep, one cow. So that's what I did. I skipped ahead to winter. I went to the cattle trader early, got a whole bunch of stuff, and that was it. I'm done with summer. And now it's Jen's final turn. And what is she going to do? Let's see here. Now, she'd like to have some more time. She'd like to get another field out so she would generate more flax. She does have a cow. She's going to enter some food from there. Now, Jen cannot do a winter. Since I jumped onto the winter bandwagon, Jen cannot do a winter action at all. So, what is she going to do? She could... Now, this is interesting. Um, she could do the laborer. It's expensive. It costs two food to go here. But the laborer gives her a choice. She can build a vehicle. So, she could start making one of these things that she needs to ship all her stuff off to the distant towns. Or she could imitate. That means Jen could do any previously blocked action. So you're never prevented from doing what you want to do. You just have to pay a little bit of money to do it. So if Jen wanted to do a master thing and improve her tools, she could come here to the laborer and imitate it. Or, wow, she could imitate it, pay two food to basically do another farm action and with her plow get another field out just in time for harvest. But the problem is Jen has no place to put that field. So that's kind of a bummer. So she's not going to do that. She could build another building um, although she, these are the main buildings to build early because they, you know, they give you those special powers. Jen needs a wheat to build one. She doesn't have any wheat. She used her only wheat to build the first one she's got. And, uh, and yeah, so she can't really build a building. She could build a stall, but again, she has no place to put them. She could, um, let's see here. She could be building. She could start cl uh, shoveling some clay. You know what? She's used up a lot of wood. To, um, you know, to make that plow and stuff like that, maybe she should just come over here. Where is it? To the woodcutter. She's got three axes. That will get her three wood. Because she's going to need the wood. She has two wood. And with five, she'll be able to build this big, gigantic cart in the future. So that's a reasonable thing to do. She could go cut peat. And that is for every shovel, she, or for every spade, not shovel, for every spade she's got, she'd get... So she could clear out three... But unfortunately, she wouldn't, if she could clear out four, she would get another place to expand her land. But it's too late. She won't be able to do that. Um, you know, if she had previously upgraded her tool so she had five spades, she'd be able to clear all those out in one turn. She could convert some of her wool into you know, a full sheet of, of, you know, re of fabric, of wool fabric. Because I mean, we both start with four wool. And she could do that twice because she has two, um, a level two leaving loom, a weaving loom, or she could just go fishing. And that would get her a sheep, it would increase the quality of her fish traps, and she would get food based on how much fish traps she got. This is her last action. Now she's got plenty of food. At the end of summer, it's list right here, um, each of our families needs three food and two peat, so we'll be able to heat ourselves in the winter. Jen has peat and food. So she doesn't have any needs right now. It's just this is her last chance before she moves on into winter. Um, in fact, she could... Yeah, she only had one more action, but she doesn't. So, what the heck, I guess she'll just go on ahead and chop some wood. She has three axes, that gives her three wood, which makes up for all the wood she spent on all this, because she built that building and she built. All right, so that was it. We are done. We have done all of our summer. It's really our summer and autumn. And now here we are in November and we have to take inventory. And now what that means is, uh, basically we come over here and we do stuff. If either of us had a vehicle and we had used that vehicle to send something off to a city or what have you, we would get that stuff back now. But we haven't done that, so we skip that. Then, for every two sheep you've got, or five or eight, you get one, two, or three food. I got two sheep, 
so I get a food. And I got a cow, so I get another food. Jen's got a cow, so she gets a food. And now um, our, our fields yield. Jen uh, gets one wheat and two flax, one, two. I get one wheat and one flax, because I've just got the two. And if we had forests, because you could plant forests, those generate lumber for you. Now, after we do that, we gotta pay. Each of us has to pay three food, one, two, three, and two peat, one, two. Here goes my, where's my two peat? My two peat, and my one, two food. I was up to having so much food that I was actually getting victory points for it, but I've dropped back down now. So if we fed, and that was done, that was in November, and now we move on to winter. So the first thing we do is our winter preparations in December, which, and the preparation basically is, we figure out who goes first. Since I used a winter action, that means Jen goes first. So, we get all our workers back. I go on the bottom, because I am the second player. And Jen goes on the top. Boop, boop, boopity, boop. And we're in our first winter now. Okay, Jen is the first player. Where is she going to go? What is she going to do? Well, she never got a chance to upgrade any of her tools because I grabbed the first one and she didn't, you know, pay extra or jump over here. Maybe she wants to do a master while it's still available. But that's the thing. If she does a master, I could still do it too, but I got to do the summer one, which means I give up first player for summer. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, Jen wants to do a lot of stuff. Right. And, and the interesting thing is, most things, you have a lot of options. You have a lot of ways you can get animals. You could get animals at the cattle trader or at the grocer. Uh, you can get you know, goods at the cattle trader or the grocer. You can convert things. You can get food by converting them at the butcher or the potter or the baker. Um, you can get wood by spending some food to get wood. Or you can build buildings by going to the wood trader or going to the laborer. Most things, and of course, don't forget, one of us also has a summer option. And we also have the ability to imitate as well. So if Jen gets to go first, she really wants to take advantage of what is something that she would not be able to do otherwise. And I think she will take advantage of the master um, before it's gone. So what is she going to do with the master? Oh, no. Well, I got to think about what does she want to do this year? Um, let's see. She would like to get another cow because, let's see, let's put a cow over here installed. She gets another cow. At the end of winter, they'll breed, and she'll get a free cow. So she knows, let's see, if she thinks about her year, she knows she wants to get a cow. Now, could she do that? She could do that at the cow trader or the grocer. So she doesn't have to rush on that. She can get one at either of those places. Um, she also wants to build a building. Let's see, is she going to be able to make her delivery? Anytime she wants, ah, see ya. She can, you know, she can do this anytime she wants. She's going to use her superpower now from the weaving parlor. Without using an action, she's going to do one, two, three flax, and that's going to give her some linen. And it cuts a peat. Oh, Jen could have done it last turn. Remember, Jen was thinking, oh, well, crap. I, you know, she could clear out her peat, and that would only get rid of three. But then she could have used this. She could have gotten rid of her last one. She could have had more space. And now the peat cutter isn't available unless she crosses the line and does a summer action during the winter. Err! So that was kind of dumb. She could have had a place to build very, very easily instead of getting more wood. But you know what? She needed the wood too because she wants to be able to build this to make a delivery. But she could get four wood by using the wood trader. You know what? I think that's a little bit smarter. Let's say for Jen's final action, she had not gone to the wood cutter, which means she did not get these three wood. You know, for her last action, instead of going to the wood cutter, she went to the peat cutter, right? Which means she cleared out three peat, because she has three spades, and that was it. But then, before the year was over, she used her weaving parlor to clear out the other, and that got rid of this negative three. She just scored three points, this is gone, and now she's got a place to build. And now, starting in this new year, she's got a new place she could put a field down, um, so that she generates even more flax to convert into more linen. But she does not have all the wood she needs to be able to build the vehicle she wants to get. So, and how can she get wood in winter? She can, the best way to do it is to come here to the wood trader and get um, four wood, but she has to give up a food for it. And, yeah. 
Or alternatively, to get wood, she can, come to, she can get one wood and one timber. That's not so great. She can get one from the grocer. If she wants some wood, even more than the master, I think she's going to come here and do some wood trading. So she has to pay one food. Now, if she was out of food, she could pay one grain instead. But she's got food. She'll spend a food. And now she doesn't have enough food to feed at the end of the turn. So that's something to bear in mind. She spent a food. She gets four wood. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I know people hate it when I undo stuff, but that ah, well. That's just how I roll. All right, so that was Jen's first action. And now she's left me the master if I want to improve my tools some more, which I didn't think I was necessarily going to get to do. I thought I'd probably have to jump over here. So do I want to jump in on the master now since Jen left it open for me? Well, again, I got to think about what do I want to accomplish this year? Now, I know these horses are going to breed. I think maybe this year I'd like to get, at the very least, another stall and another cow so that my cows could breed. So I get a, Because I'm thinking long term about setting up a butcher tanner tannery operation, so I need to grow my animals. So that means I need to pick up another cow, which again, I can do with the cattle trader or the grocer, so that's not a problem. Um, so the trickier thing is to build a stall. How can I build a stall? I could come here to the carpenter, which will take me two clay, which I've got, and a wheat, which I've got. Is there any other way in winter that I could build a stall? No, there's not. So my first action is I'm going to come here to the carpenter. I have a choice. I could upgrade a stall into a stable, which um, would cost me two bricks. And I don't have those bricks, so I'm ignoring that. Oh, wait, no, I need two bricks. Wait, no, no, no. No, oh, yeah, I need, I need bricks to make a stable. I don't have that. So instead of doing that, I'm doing the ore. I'm spending two clay, which means I'll never get to turn these into bricks, and one wheat. Where is it? One wheat, and I have built my second stall. And I'll put it right here next to my first one. And now I've got a place. Well, I say I've got a place for my... For my um and oh, and a still I want to get another cow so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get a bunch of animals right, but I've just taken the only way to do a stall. Although remember I could do a summer action and get a stall if Jen doesn't do a summer action first, or alternatively I could imitate and imitate the carpenter and do that action a second time. So I think that's my other goal, which means I'm gonna need two more clay to be able to build another stall. Let's see. Um, once you get a, once you upgrade to a stable, you can convert a stable into a double stall, but that's a ways off. Now that means I'm going to need two more clay. How am I going to get that clay? I could get one clay at the builder's merchant, one clay at the grocer's, or I could jump the gun, come over here and do a clay worker and get more clay, particularly because I'm good at it with my shovel. So I know my next move is going to be to jump the, if, if Jen doesn't do it, I'm going to try and do a summer action next turn. But anyway, in the meantime, let's think about what Jen's going to do. Jen, all right, so Jen wants to build her wagon so she can start making use of it and start delivering stuff to faraway lands. Now, vehicles are a tough thing to build too. In winter, we could do it here at the Wainwright where we could either build a vehicle or a peat boat, which is not considered a vehicle. Peat boats and plows are not vehicles. These wagons and whatnot, those are vehicles. And if Jen misses that, she could, um, she could jump over, uh, you know, the labor in summer lets you build a vehicle. In the winter, it lets you build a building. So Jen would have to jump um, to, to do a vehicle. And I think that's the only two ways she can build a vehicle. So she wants to get a vehicle while the getting's good. She's going to visit the Wainwright and build one vehicle. Right. And so she could just spend two wood and build this little dinky one, but she's not going to be able to carry very much with that. She's got five. Oh, but she doesn't have a horse. She needs a horse. So before she can do that, she needs to visit the cattle trader, which will get her two wheat, one, two, a sheep, which she'll put over here in this empty field, and either a cattle or a horse. It'd be nice to do a cattle so she could breed her cattle, but she needs a horse even more. So she's going to take the horse and she'll put this horse over here on the dike. Okay. So Jen did that. Now she'll be able to build a vehicle if I don't block it because now I might come over here to build a peat boat for all she knows because the peat boat's really cheap to build. But lucky for her, I got something else in mind. Remember, what was it? I, I totally forgot what I wanted. All right, I wanted some more clay so I could build. Right, so I am jumping the gun. I'm coming over here. I'm doing a summer action. I'm going to shovel some clay. And since I have four shovels, that means I get four clay. One, two, three, four. So now I got all the clay I need to make my other stall. There we go. There's my four clay. All right, and now Jen cannot do a summer action even if she wanted to. Jen's going to move on to her third action. So now finally, nope, she, I did not block the vehicle for her. Now, but again, if I'd block the vehicle, she would just have to pay two food to use the laborer to imitate me, 
to do a vehicle anyway. You can always get done what you need to get done. The game is very wide open. So Jen's going to build a vehicle. It's going to be this big... Well, it's interesting. She's got two choices. These are very you know, utilitarian workhorse type things. They have three spaces, and if you upgrade it, four spaces. And they are only worth one victory point, or if you upgrade it, two victory points. Um, and they need more wood. Instead, Jen could... I forget what they're called. She can make this slightly more luxurious one. It has three spaces, but this is a special space because it's kind of nice seating that is limited in how you can use it. And But it's worth four victory points and takes less wood, but it takes two horses. Jen doesn't have that. It can get upgraded into a very luxurious wagon um, and worth five victory points and all that. But anyway, Jen doesn't have the two horses. So she's going to build a nice workhorse. Remember, okay, so she's giving up her horse because that's going to run that wagon. She has to pay five wood. One, two, three, four, five. And now Jen has her first vehicle. And the nice thing is, you want to build at least one large vehicle in the game because you'll cover up this negative three. So Jen basically just made one plus... Jen just made four points off of that. And now she's got a vehicle. And this vehicle, is, it does not take an action. You only use actions to place your workers out here on the board. You can use that vehicle anytime you want to go to... Well, there's two things a vehicle can use for. You can use it to go to these faraway towns and do these trades to get food, which is very important. Or you can use it to upgrade stuff. Jen's got some wood, right? She could take it to town, which means she flips it, and it becomes timber. She could uh, take some clay to the nearby town, along with some peat, and she flips it, and it be uh, oh, there's some more thunder, and it becomes bricks. So, these vehicles are very valuable. And most importantly, Jen could use this whole thing to take all the leather goods she's got to town. She would flip it. And she just went from one point for just this leather to two and a half points. It's weird. The game supports half points, much like Glass Road last year from Uve. She could get leather goods. And these leather goods are worth more points, but Emden wants leather and will give seven food for it, as an example. So, the, you know, the more vehicles you have, but, you know, once Jen has used a vehicle, she can't use it for anything else. It's done for the rest of the season. So, she couldn't use it to, you know, to, um, you know, go to town to convert her leather goods into, or for her leather into leather clothing and do a trip to town because it's all full. It's already used its one power. So, anyway, so Jen's got a vehicle now. She's very happy about that. So, Jen has two freebie actions she can do whenever she wants. She can use her vehicle for free, and she can use her weaving parlor for free. I don't have any special quickie actions like that. In fact, I'm feeling kind of bad about that. I'm wondering, should I build a... Well, okay. I want to build another stall, and I want to get a cow. Now, Jen has grabbed the cow space. If I want to get that cattle trader... Because I, I can't do another summer action, so if I want to get that cow, i got to pay two food to imitate her to go to the cattle trader to get the other cows so that my cows will breed. So I've got two more actions. One could be to get the other cow, and then the other one would be to build the stall. But here's the problem. I only get to imitate once. And both these spaces, so I can't do it. Um, you know, I, I know I kept saying, oh, you can do anything you want, but you will run out of spaces. Jen's already taken the summer... or No, actually, I'm sorry. I've already taken the summer, so I can't do another summer action. I can't build a stall and get a cow. So, my cows... There's no reason to chase after the stall then, because I won't be able to breed these cows. The, the sheep and the horses will, so I'm happy about that. Um, so, i got to change my plans. What are my other two actions going to be this round? It would be nice to get one of these free... Like, this is nice. Litter storage. If I have two horses anytime, and I do, anytime I want, I can give up three flax to get another horse. This fits my whole animal kingdom empire quite nicely. Maybe I want to do that. Maybe I want to come over here to the laborer, not to build a building, or not to imitate, you know, and, and copy some other action that's already been taken, but to build a building. Let's do that. Because I can't build a building over here at the wood trader, but I can still build a building here. I would like to build me a litter storage. It gets me one victory point. I'll slap it down. I've got all these spaces I could build. I'll put it over here, let's say. And it costs me one wheat. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Wheat. And one building material of any type. I've got the most clay, so I think I'll, I'll dump a clay. Right, because... Oh, wait, no. I was having the clay so I could build the stalls. And yeah, stalls only take two, so that's fine. So I've built that. And now... I've got a free action I can do whenever I want. I'm going to go and do it. I've got two horses. So I'm going to turn in my three flax. One, two, three. And that gets me another horse. 
Now I could put it in the stables, but then there's no room for the baby. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to let it run free out in the wild. I'll build another stable for it later, or I'll start building some stables where I can hold up to six animals. All right. So I've got my litter storage. Nice. All right. So that was my third action. And now Jen's fourth action. Let's see if she's going to want to ship something. Right, she's got the two flax she needs. Wait, what was it she was thinking about flip, uh, shipping to? Because she's she can now ship. It was, was it Emden? No, it was Lear. If she wants to give up a cow and the linen and the two flax, she could get eight, she could do a delivery to Lear and get 10 food. But does she want to wait longer until she's got either woolenware, linenware, or leatherware so that instead of getting 10, she could get 16? Because she'll only get to make the trip to Lear once. But, you know, um, you know the, she wants to go sooner because we only have nine rounds. And she only gets to use this. So she's only going to get to use this eight times. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, of course, she's probably going to want to build more vehicles as time goes on. But she could make this delivery now. She's got, she'd have a pretty good delivery. But does she want to see if she could get some fine goods? All right, because she's got this leather. Well, see, the only way she could turn this leather into leather goods to take to Lear would be to use this up. And then she couldn't make the delivery. But she could make the delivery in summer because she has everything she needs. So maybe she's going to wait until summer to go to Lear, which means I think she will go on ahead. She can do it anytime she wants. She's going to, you know, to the whatever local town it is, she uses her wagon to take it in and she brings back nice leather goods. She just made a point and a half. But more importantly, she's going to get six points when she delivers that stuff to Lear. Although, if she delivers it to Bremen, she gets 30, not points, money, or not money, food, 30 food for delivering it to Bremen. But to Bremen, she can't do it with this cart. She needs the bigger cart, which means she needs two horses to be able to deliver to Bremen. Or if she, if she delivers to Emden, she gets seven food. She's got a lot of options. Oh, yeah, with the leather goods and the linen and... Um, wow, she could do Emden and have a really good delivery as well. But anyway, so she's used this as her free power. Her other free power is to turn flax into more linen. She doesn't have enough flax. She's got two more actions. She can't do any summer action. She can't imitate what is... Oh, I'm sorry, no, she has one more action. This is her final action. Is it? Right, because she did that. She got the wood. She built the thing. Right, so her last action. What is her last action going to be? She could go to the dike warden. That would um, let her move a dike forward. Oh, sorry, sorry. Move a a dike forward so she has some more land to build and she would get to flip either one of these or does she have anything else to flip? Oh, she could flip this and convert it from this into this and then she's got four spaces. That's pretty sexy, folks. I think that's pretty exciting. Let's do that. She's going to visit the dike warden. All right, so she gets to do a dike action and so suddenly, boom, she's got more spaces to build now and she gets to do a flip. She could flip one of these and score three points and get some more peat. Oh wait, well, although remember, it's the end of winter. She's gonna need to feed her family pretty soon. She only has two food and she needs three. But if she runs out of food, she can use grain and she's got plenty of grain. So she's not worried about feeding her family, that's fine. And she, you don't need peat when you're heading into summer. Hmm, she's not gonna breed anything. She's just got these two animals that aren't breeding. She could instead go to the grocer and get another animal so she could breed a cow. Does she want to do that or does she want to do this dike action? Oh, these are both excellent choices. By visiting the dike warden, she could upgrade her cart into a super cart. That'd be pretty cool. You know, and it, you know, the cart it goes from worth one point to two points, and it means she got this cart for only five wood instead of seven wood, and that means she's got a big enough cart to go to Bremerhaven where she can make the real money. She gets thirty food. Forget about it. She's going to start making you know fifteen food a time to build the church and the castle and the castle. Or alternatively, it's equally valid to come over here to the grocer, get another cow or another sheep, so she can start breeding animals. She's going to do it. She's going to go to the dike warden. Right. So. She flips this, which means suddenly she has more space. She could do something else with this as well. And she gets to do a dike action. She's now got more space to build. And now, before the year is over, she could put slip something in here, like, um, say, a clay and turn it into brick if she gives up a peat. Or a wood and turn it into lumber. Or she could make a quick trip, say, 
to be more, where if she gives up one... Yeah, let's do that. That's nice. So she upgraded her wagon, which let her do one more thing with it. She's going to do a trip to be more, which means she gives up one of her peats. She's got plenty of peat, and that gives her two more food. One, two. And now she's got enough food, and she doesn't have to worry about dipping into her wheat. And so she's done that delivery. All right. That was Jen's last action. She did a final delivery. She's very happy with the end results. My turn. Hello, other son, number two son. What are you going to do? Wow, nobody has improved their tools. That's crazy. And I keep forgetting, what is it I'm trying to do? Right. I can't build another stall because there's literally no opportunities to do it. Are there any? Hmm. Let's see. Now I have a reason to want to get thatched fields as well so I can get more thatch so that I can you know, convert them into more horses. Hmm. But let's see, but, but, yeah, but oh yeah, I can't do summer stuff. I gotta forget about that. What can I do? All of these are gone. I can improve my tools. I could go to the baker and get a lot of food by giving up a couple of resources. I go to the potter and get some food and peat. I could go to the builder merchant, get some hides. Remember, I want hides so I can make better use of my fleshing. So that's kind of nice. That just fits in general. I could go to the grocer, get another animal, but I got no place for him to breed. But I want to start slaughtering these animals anyway at the butcher. But you know what? Oh, I want to improve my slaughtering table so that my one-two of slaughtering and fleshing works better. So since nobody else has done it, it's just sitting there, I think I will go to the master. And that means I can do three tool upgrades because of my workbench. So first of all, I got three work grades. I will do, I will spend a clay to upgrade my slaughter tables. That's my first one. And so now I can slaughter three animals and I can um, flesh five of them. So that's my first. My second, let's see, I've got wood and clay. What else do I want to upgrade? I don't, what the heck, I'll pay another wood and I'll get my fleshing beams all the way up. And that scores me three points at the end of the game. And now I can convert six hides in one action to six leather. So that's my second upgrade. And if I recall correctly, I believe you cannot do a single upgrade multiple times. I'm pretty sure you can't do that. There's, there's a rule about that. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody tell me and we'll get it noted. But if I recall correctly, you cannot do... Well, actually, let's just look. Let's just look in the rules. Oh, why not? We're almost done with winter, aren't we? Yeah. Winter has come and it's about to leave. Let's see, where's master? Master, 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 master. Oh, no, these are... Yeah, these are the... Right. Labor... Master, per workbench you have, you may move one of your tool indicators on the game board one space to the right. You cannot move a tool indicator more than once. You may only move... Yeah, so I was correct. I was remembering it correctly. So I've increased that. I've increased that. I can increase one more tool. I could just go on ahead and spend my last two clay and get my workbench up to four, which is, scores me three points because I've got a master workbench. And I could start really pushing tools. And, what the heck? Let's do it. I'm going to give up my two clay and bump up my workbench. And from now on, whenever I use the master action, I can improve four tools. Nice. Okay, so that was it. We're done. And now the winter is through and we go, it's May. We made it through winter and, um, you know, early spring really. And now we're in May. We do our inventory. And that means we come over here and we look. Any stuff that got delivered, um, you know, gets paid off. So Jen now has these fine leather goods. Oh dear, I've been doing all of this on my board when it's actually all on her board. Sorry, that's cheating. So Jen, which means uh, um, I have not visited Beermore. Jen has visited Beermore. So Jen takes this and she has made a delivery. Didn't score any points yet, but when the next time she does, she'll start scoring some experience points. And she has some fine leather wearables that she can use in the future and her thing is all empty. Right, so we did that. Now we milk. Jen gets one food for her one cow and no food for her one sheep. I get one food for my one cow and one food for my two sheep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two, and one. I was just reading the summer stuff. That's totally wrong. We're not in summer. We're in winter. In winter, there is no milking. There is no um, harvesting of the fields. In winter, we do our vehicles. You just saw me do. And we breed. Jen has nothing to breed, but I do. I get a baby sheep, and now my sheep stall is full. And I get a baby horse, and now my horse stall is full. There we go. And then I will let the horse out so it can free and frolic. And now I've got room next winter to grow another horse. And I'll let the sheep out and I'll have it go hang out on a dike. Why not? Just because I can, because I got all the room in the world. Okay. So we bred animals. And now at the end of winter, all we got to do is eat. I owe three food. One, two, three. Jen owes three food. 
One, two, three. We have finished winter. We are on to the third round. First thing we have to do is preparations. And hey, now normally the first player marker would come back to me, but since I did a summer action, it doesn't come back to me. Jen will be the first to act in summer, which means all my workers come here and they're on the bottom and all Jens are on the top. This is our preparations in the month of June. And now the summer starts and Jen is first to go. She has first dibs on everything. Um, she's got her two flax she wants to send off to Lear. She's got her cow, she's got her linen. She just needs, to, oh, you know what I think she wants to do? Yeah, yeah, Jen's first action. And now this is maybe jumping the gun. There's, she might want to think about this more, but if she can get a, a piece of fabric, she could do a perfect delivery to Lear. Oh, wait, oh, no, no, it's not a piece of fabric. It's a finalized, so I was thinking she would do the wool, but she would still need to convert this. All right, no, she's got her leather goods. Yeah, she does have everything. So she's going to be able to make the perfect delivery to Lear this time and score 6, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 food. 16 food, again, is giving you enough food to start building a thing. Maybe Jen wants to push and get herself some timber and some bricks so she could build one of these big 15 points. And if she builds a village church, she'll get another vehicle too. Whenever you build a building, these buildings, they give you, these four give you a special power for the rest of the game you can use whenever you want. All the other ones, they just give you victory points and a one-time bonus and then never again. So, maybe this, this, this summer is the summer. Tula, you're knocking the camera. Sorry, static camera folks. Maybe this is the summer. Tula's still a little bit afraid. You okay too? Tula, it's all right. I th this, there's been no thunder for quite a while. It's okay. All righty. So she's got a lot of options. She's got to decide what she wants to do. Does she want to make this summer her big trip to Lear, and you know, and you know, and, and really completely max out on it? She's got a bigger thing though. She could make a big trip to Bremen and make so much food. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can have, by the way, up to um, fifteen of every good. Except you notice there's two food counters, so you can have up to thirty food. Jen could just make this delivery to Bremen with the leather she's already got and max out her food completely. Because she only has one food left. Then she'd be set for food for a while so she could start building these things. Yeah, I think she wants to start building these buildings and make big, big points. Because she's got three more places she could build now. And um, she just needs three wood and three bricks. But how could she get wooden bricks? Well, um, the main way to do it is by using your vehicle. Jen could, right now, she could go one, two, three. This is a free act. Doesn't take her anything. And three, um, peat, and boom, she's got her three bricks she needs. But then she's used her vehicle and she won't be able to send her vehicle off to get all the food she needs. So I think the big thing Jen wants is another vehicle. She wants to get more vehicles. And then plus, once she builds the, the church, she'll have a third vehicle and she has this fleet of vehicles. Me, I'm going for a completely different strategy. I'm trying to make the, uh, the most nasty uh, animal slaughterhouse that the fields of Arla have ever seen so I can start converting that into leather so I can just start making points off of the leather. Um, but, you know, I mean, le leather is useful. I mean, I need three leather to be able to build this building, which is worth eight points, a saddlery. See, what else does leather do? There's a, like I said, it's a nice little summary. Leather, what's it good for? It's good for um, processing, for sale in one of the towns, and for building the saddlery. So the more leather I get, the more I can use vehicles, if I ever build any vehicles, to turn them into leather goods. Um, I can make deliveries to one of the towns, and I can build the saddlery. So, uh, you know, and, and that's kind of giving me an overall goal. I have, I have gone down, but there's so much other stuff you want to do too. I mean, you want to clear out these other moors, because this is just negative eight points sitting here. But we, we have to keep on getting more food so we can feed ourselves, and we want to keep on doing, we want to do everything. There's a million things you can do, and you really just got to pick and choose. And I think there, at 38 minutes, you guys have a pretty good idea, having gone through two rounds, of what Field of Arla plays like. And it just keeps on escalating as you get more and more vehicles, you get more and more free actions, things just get crazier and crazier. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.